Hello everyone, this is Blair Barnhart. You know, I've taught this pavement management thing for 50, 60 hours, and those of you who have taken the online classes know all too well what's involved with an intensive, comprehensive pavement management program for a city or a county. Here's a great example. I've got Randy Landers with me today, and we just wrapped up photocopying 1,200 pages of a comprehensive pavement management report here for Lee County, Georgia. Thanks so much, Bob and Mike, for having us down here. We spent the last couple of months wrapping up, finalizing the plan, and last night everything came to a head at the commission meeting when I had to stand up in front of the commission and do a short report on the status of the Lee County roads. Now, not unlike the rest of America, the system is underfunded, and we need a lot more money to preserve and maintain this roadway down here, much like the rest of America. So here's where it all starts. I'm gonna go real quick through this and Randy's gonna follow us and zoom in a little bit here as we go through this. But it all starts with a map, like I always say, each journey starts with a first step. We start at the top left-hand corner. This is an on-the-ground micro-paver, street saver pavement evaluation. So we get the information, we find out where the dirt roads are, where the paved roads are, we inventory that based on what the county provides us. We add roads that they didn't know that were possibly uh, in the newest inventory. We also edit them to find out some of the paved roads are actually dirt roads and vice versa. So once we get all that information, we get our micropaver concrete and asphalt pavement management uh, distress identification manuals out and we follow ASTM 6433, as I've mentioned earlier in the classroom, verbatim, on the ground, micropaver pavement evaluation. What makes this a little unique is that we actually use micropaver data to collect the field distress and identification and rate it low, medium, or high, but we enter that data into the Street Saver software quite often at our agency's request. Now, once we've built the decision tree based on asphalt recycling, pavement preservation, eco-efficient techniques, we always leave it up to the county to use local contractors or if they have a preference for one type of rehabilitation versus another. Depending on the region, we can tweak that decision tree based on your agency's unique needs wherever we are in America. So we core the roads. In this case, I've got a six or seven inch core. So if we're recommending what the techniques are going to be used to rehabilitate the roads, we want to make absolutely sure we know the pavement thickness. Now, not every consulting engineering firm does this. We like to do it. So when we put this report together and we say, hey, you know, Randy, we're going to come in here and we're going to do cold in place recycling on four miles of road. I know personally that we can do it because we've got adequate pavement section. Now, at project level, we still want to drill down and do a little bit of design and forensic work as well. So all that information goes into a book. Everything is written hand notes. Even though we rely on computers quite often, I still like old school because you never know when your computer is going to crash. At that point, everything goes into a binder. We've got 1,200 pages, Randy, of information here a comprehensive pavement management report. It all boils down to this. This could be any county in America, 290 centerline miles of roadway underfunded, okay? So it's gonna take about $37 million over the next 10 years if we wanna get this system up to the 80s and the 85s. Now, in my 30 years of construction experience, I've only seen one agency in this world that's had too much money to spend on their roadways. So chances are every agency is gonna require this kind of inventory We've got a checklist of all the reports that we print off. We've got graphs, um, but basically everything comes down to this one graph, underfunding. And I'd be more than happy to send you guys a PowerPoint slideshow or come and visit you in your office if you're interested and go over some of these details. But for the purposes of today, I want to keep things short. And this is what it all boils down to eventually. Last Tuesday night, uh, was at the county commission meeting doing a little presentation there. So. This is, uh, this is a godsend for your county or your city. If you're looking to justify the needs for additional funding, you want your residents to realize that, guess what? Our roads are in a bad state of repair and we're underfunded. We don't have enough money to repair them cost effectively. So great news for the county. The residents are beginning to realize that more money is needed to be added to the general fund here in this particular county. And I'd be more than happy to sit down in your office and share this information with you and find out very uh, quick ways to do complete inventories on your roadway infrastructure, your most valuable asset that you'll ever own. And the good news is if you're in a metropolitan planning organization such as we are here, Federal funding will pay for 80% of this inventory. So give me a call, 404-316-9792. Visit the website, 
thebarnhartgroup.com. Thanks so much, Randy. We're out of here. Hey, everyone. If you haven't had a uh, pavement evaluation completed by the Barnhart Group, this is something you definitely need. This is uh, something that we uh, spent some minimal funding on and were able to uh, determine uh, what we really had out here in the field. I mean, it was kind of hard to know how to treat the roadway without knowing what we had and the condition of the roadways. And the Barnhart Group was able to come out and perform the distress evaluation utilizing the Street Saver and micro paper procedures. And we were able to uh, sit down with Blair and make some important decisions on how to save a good portion of our budget and looking forward to working with the Barnhart Group on future uh, pavement uh, evaluations.